Calling All Authors, the Your Book, Your Voice podcast with host Robert A. Lane features everything you need to know about narrating your audio book, but it doesn't stop there. We have special guests lined up from all aspects of the book publishing industry, and we also dive deep into what it takes to be mentally prepared for success as an author and in life. So please welcome your host, Robert A. Lane. Hey, my friends, how are you today? Good evening, good day, no matter what time of day it is, sure glad you're here for the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Glad to be here and uh, glad you're here as well. Uh, this is a show where I talk about the audiobook world. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Your Book, Your Voice podcast, or uh, with me, uh, I am an audiobook coach and producer. Uh, I specialize in helping uh, nonfiction authors. Maybe you're a nonfiction author and you have a published book out there in the world, yet you don't have it in audiobook form. That's where I come in as an audiobook coach and producer. And I specialize in helping you as an author narrate your own audiobook. Uh, which means recording, narrating, and uh, being published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books in six weeks. That's as long as the audio co book coaching program is. It's a six-week program. By the end of the six weeks, you are published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. I call it the AAA, Audible, Amazon, Apple. You got to be on those distribution platforms, of course, because most people go there to find their audiobooks. There's other places you can get uh, published and uh, distributed, but those three you definitely have to be on, okay? Uh, and that's what I do as an audiobook coach and producer. Uh, before I uh, started Robert Lane Coaching, which was uh, over three years ago, uh, I had worked 30-plus oh, years in the entertainment world in various facets of the business. I did start off in radio and then moved on to other facets of the business, on-camera, off-camera, production, uh, created a, a business, uh, audio post-production business called RRP Studios, uh, as well as still working in the industry uh, with the last, oh, I'd say 14 years roughly uh, were spent at uh, 20th Century Fox, now Fox Studios in Los Angeles on the studio lot. So I had the uh, fortunate opportunity to be able to work at a major movie studio on the studio lot. Uh, worked in a great building. It was the uh, scoring stage. It was where they recorded all the music for uh, all those uh, big blockbuster features. Uh, so it was it was a really cool place to work, and I am very grateful and grateful today on the podcast. Uh, the topic for today is grats and brags are better than bacon. Now, the first thing I think about is what. What can be better than bacon? I love bacon. Well, you know, I admit it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite foods. Bacon goes with everything. Uh, well, if you're a vegetarian, maybe your uh, favorite food is, you know, monk fruit or something. <laughs> and maybe that's your favorite. But we're going to be talking about uh, the analogy of, of bacon uh, <laughs> and how it relates to you as an author, because it does. It does. It really does. Uh, we will dive into that in just a second. Um, before we do, though, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. As an audiobook coach and producer, I do have uh, that audiobook coaching program, which is called Your Book, Your Voice, the six-week program. And uh, if you are interested, you can always go to the website at robertlanecoaching.com. Uh, but if you want to uh, talk with me more about your book and about turning it into an audio book, uh, that's the first step. Because remember, action takers are success makers. And we're throwing out catchphrases. That's what I do. <laughs> and I have a, a whole boatload of them. So I'll we'll be sharing those catchphrases with you. But one of them is action takers are success makers. So the only action uh, step that you would need to do is just to book a call with me. And we will talk about your book, and I'll give you more details about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program. Uh, for those of you who can see the video and audio of the live stream, uh, it's there on your screen there. Uh, if you're only hearing the audio portion, there is a link that you can go to, which is a bit.ly link, which is bit.ly forward slash 
audiobook onboarding. That's how you book a call. That is goes directly to my calendar. You can book a call there, and I'd love to talk to you about your book and how to get you enrolled in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program. All right. Okay, my friends. Yes. Uh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot, and I want to get it out uh, right here at the top of the show, and that is uh, just for tuning in and uh, being a supporter of the podcast. Um, I want to give you a freebie, and my freebie is the audiobook narration reference guide. I've put together a, uh, a free audiobook narration reference guide uh, that gives some really great, uh, valuable pointers on how to do a great narration, not only about uh, you know the practical aspects, uh, the physical aspects, mic placement, all that kind of thing, but also the emotional aspects of what it takes to do a great audiobook narration. Um, you know, the intangibles, the feeling, the emotion, the uh, authenticity, the conversation, all that. Uh, there's a lot of great tools and techniques and uh, pointers in that free guide. So uh, by all means, download that guide. Again, there is a graphic on the screen for those of you who can see it. Uh, the uh, link is bit.ly, another bit.ly link, which is bit.ly forward slash narration reference guide, all right? And you can always go to uh, robertlanecoaching.com uh, and grab your narration reference guide there. It's right there on the homepage as well. So, grats and brags are better than bacon. That's the topic. When I was working in the uh, entertainment business, uh, when I was at uh, Fox, at 20th Century Fox, uh, after a couple of years of working there, uh, I was fortunate enough to be invited to uh, this big Simpsons party. The Simpsons, yes, The Simpsons. Uh, this was their uh, Treehouse of Horror party that they did every year. And what was so cool about it was that uh, uh, the first one that I went to uh, was down in Santa Monica, California, down by the pier. They had uh, uh, rented out a huge... Uh, it was uh, Santa Monica Airport actually was at, and they rented out a huge uh, air, airport uh, hangar and set up their party there. And uh, it was nothing short of the most incredible party I've ever been to. Uh, celebrities and, and all, every kind of food and drink you could think of was there. Uh, they had a great band. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. And basically what they did was uh, every year, uh, on the premiere of the Treehouse of Horror episode, uh, they, we had this big party. And then uh, when it was time for that episode to air, the party stops and we watch the episode as it airs live uh, across the uh, country. And that was part of the, uh, the fun of the party. So we got to watch the episode. Uh, the Treehouse of Horror episode, and then uh, enjoy the party. So it was a great event, this huge, uh, just awesome event. And uh, I bring that up because um, it's one of those things where uh, I'm very grateful for having this opportunity to be able to work uh, in not only the entertainment business, but to work for a major studio and to be able to participate in some of the things that most people don't get to do. And... Uh, it's very uh, gratifying, and I feel very, very lucky to have uh, had that opportunity. Um, so something that I want you to think about, especially as an author, right? You are an author. You've written a, this awesome nonfiction book. It's published out there. And you should be very grateful for uh, having a book published. Remember, you're an author. This is your brand. Your book is your product. If you have an ebook, paperback, hardcover, uh, if you don't have an audiobook, we got to get you one, of course, that you narrated, uh, that you definitely do the narration uh, because it's your story and no one can replicate you. Uh, but, uh, you know, those are your products. And it is something that, that uh, you should definitely be grateful for, uh, no matter what you do, because there are opportunities um, to feel, I don't know if really exclusive would be the word because uh, that I'm trying to think of, but maybe just, just, feeling special because you do something creative. I you know you're a writer or an author. That's that, that you're an artist. Not everybody can sit and write a book. Not everybody can sing. Not everybody can play an instrument. Not, not everybody can be a, a painter. Uh, you know, the, whatever artistic skill uh, that you have, I, I have a friend of mine who, is awesome at, at crochet. She makes these great things. You know, or I have another friend who, or a couple of friends actually, who, you know, who do quilting. Uh, it's a talent. 
And you as an author, uh, being able to write a book is a talent. And you being able to narrate a book is a talent, but it is something that you can do, okay? So I know that, uh, and I run into this so much as an audiobook coach, even with the author clients that go through my program, uh, a lot of things that I have to help them with is confidence building and believing in their voice and uh, showing them that they can narrate their own audiobook and that they can do a great job at it. Uh, matter of fact, if you go to robertlanecoaching.com, I do have uh, some clips of authors who've gone through the program. Uh, I've had some, I have some samples up there. You can hear them do their narration. They sound great. And, and that great sound and that great narration that they do is, is very easy. Well, it, it's plausible. We'll say it's plausible that you can do it as well. Because again, only you can express and speak your story the way you want it to be heard and the way that you have presented it in your book. Because remember, your voice is in your written word. And when you narrate your own book, you're just bringing that to life. Right? You're putting it in audio form, right? Audible form. That's audible Amazon Apple Books, right? You're putting it in an audible form. And that's the best way to preserve the authenticity and to preserve the integrity of your book. Okay. Now, there is one thing I do want to share about the, uh, the Simpsons party. And uh, like I said, they had anything and everything that you can think of. And one of the best desserts that they had, because it was Homer's favorite, right? Bacon, bacon, but it wasn't just bacon. It was chocolate covered bacon. You know, like you have your, your, your chocolate covered dipped uh, strawberries, replace strawberry with bacon. There you go. And it was so good. It was so good. So uh, man, bacon is just a good thing, man. It does go with everything. See, it goes with everything. <laughs> chocolate, yes. Ah, uh, good stuff. Anyway, um, well, the, the, the parties were great. But again, the point is, uh, there are things that you do as an author that uh, that are special because you you can do something. You can express yourself in a way that uh, that uh, many people aren't able to do, and that and that does make you special. And maybe that does make you a little bit uh, exclusive in that uh, area of of creativity. You know, again, just like a musician or a singer or a painter or, you know, any type of artist, you are an artist. But remember, you are a brand and you should always take your author brand 100 percent seriously. OK, and be grateful for what you do. OK, be very grateful that you can express yourself this way and know and have the confidence that you have what it takes with this wonderful voice of yours to be able to narrate your own audiobook, 100%. Maybe you need some coaching, that's fine. That's why I, I created the audiobook coaching program that I do to help authors just sound their best and uh, take away any of the confusion or overwhelm or stress uh, you know, about uh, narrating, recording your own audiobook. Uh, there is a process to do it. Uh, and uh, you know, like for me, I still work with coaches. Uh, to help with my business and various aspects of growing my business. So it's always great to have guidance like that. Uh, or, you know, even with you uh, as an author, you should definitely get involved with uh, other groups, uh, maybe Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, uh, create a mastermind group with other authors and share ideas and support each other because the support system is, is super, super important. Um, so that's very important to preserve your author brand and to be grateful. And now we say grats and brags. Uh, the first part of what I'm going to be talking about uh, today is about gratitude and the way the brags fit in, because we're going to hit on that a little bit later on in the, uh, in the podcast, uh, is about uh, bragging rights, right? Really, it comes down to being proud of what you do as an author who you are as an author, and uh, again, being grateful and being proud. And there are things that you can do, there are steps that you can take to uh, focus on gratitude and to focus on your brags, your grats and brags. And I'm gonna be breaking down uh, uh, steps and some tools and some techniques that you can utilize 
to uh, really focus on that feeling of gratitude because it is so important as an author. And it's just important in general to, to be grateful. Um, there is one thing that I do want to talk about. There is a little dark side I want to share with you, uh, but we will do that when we uh, come back from our break. Uh, and uh, I do want to talk about that because that, it, it is an important thing that I do want you to, to have uh, etched in your brain, okay? So we'll talk about uh, that uh, when we come back. And then we're going to dive into tools and techniques on what you can do to really tap into that feeling of gratitude, all right? Because grats and brags are better than bacon, right? We want to make sure that they are. So I want to give you some really great uh, tools that you can work with, all right? You are tuned into the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, I do appreciate you hanging out. Don't go away. We will be back. Uh, this is the Bold Brave TV Network. We're streaming live and uh, got some good stuff for you coming up. Don't go away. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. All right. Welcome back to the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane, your host. I uh, have a business called Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Uh, again, appreciate you hanging out. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on before we dive into some steps and some tools that you can do to really boost uh, your feeling of gratitude is there is the dark side, I guess you can call it that. Uh, and, you know, I saw this, of course, working at a major movie studio in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, but this is something that is just not only exclusive to the entertainment industry, uh, it's everywhere. It doesn't matter what business, it doesn't matter what part of the country you live in. Uh, and that is uh, people drinking the self-entitlement Kool-Aid, all right? Uh, and that is a bad thing because that is putting a really bad negative um, habit to fuel your subconscious, and you don't want to do that. All right, uh, you know if there's, and I've seen it, and I've seen people uh, say, you know, uh, I I do whatever I want, and uh, I don't have to follow anybody's rules because I'm going to do what I want because it fits my personal agenda. You know, forget everybody else. It's that whole you know selfish self entitlement uh, attitude. You know, and, but if the the other half of that is, you know, I'm going to do whatever I want. You know, and I don't care you know, who I step over, you know, because, you know, it's all about me, but don't you dare pull that on me, right? It's that double-edged <laughs> sword there. Um, don't fall into that trap, okay? Yeah, you know, I worked at a major movie studio. Great. 
but you know what? I'm grateful. I'm grateful, you know, for that opportunity. I don't walk around saying, hey, I worked at Fox. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You know, it still was a corporate job. I still had corporate things to do. I still had to deal with the same, you know, type of stresses that everybody deals with in whatever job they have, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, working at a supermarket or working for a big corporation, it doesn't matter. You still deal with the same uh, stresses and the same, you know, uh, things that happen with any type of job that you have. And you have to just appreciate the good things and, you know, learn how to deal with the bad things, you know, like toxic work environments and all that. It's everywhere. But don't drink the self-entitlement Kool-Aid because that is a big mistake, especially as an author. You know what? If you write a book and it becomes a New York Times bestseller, good for you to be able to reach that goal. But don't think you're, you don't drink that self-entitlement Kool-Aid. Don't get all cocky about it. All right. Be grateful, but be humble. And I'll tell you something else. You know, I did have the opportunity to meet some major, major actors and actresses. And the higher they are and the, and the bigger they were, the nicer they were. All right. It was the people that were trying to claw their way to the top or even the people who worked for those big name actors uh, were the ones who had the self-entitlement attitudes. But the actors themselves, uh, I would say 99% of them, the superstars, were really nice, genuinely nice people because they understand that they would be nothing if it wasn't for uh, the people that have helped them build their career. And of course, the people like us who go to see their movies or their TV shows or whatever, right? They understand that and they appreciate it and they're humble about it and they're very grateful. That's the attitude that you have to have especially again for you as an author because you don't want to bring that attitude into your writing of course and you definitely cannot bring that attitude when you are narrating your audiobook because that's going to turn people off that lessens your credibility it lessens your expertise in your field and it cheapens your author brand product and you don't want to do that that's a big mistake so i just wanted to share that with you keep that in mind i know it's out there and it, you know, it, it's it's just something that it's it's like this this ugly cancer that's out in the world. Don't contribute to it. Be a good human. Don't drink the self entitlement Kool Aid. My advice. All right. Now let's talk about grats, gratitude. All right, gratitude tools. There are things that you can do that will really get you to appreciate you as as an author and as an audiobook narrator. Okay. First thing uh, is take a moment and step outside of your box, okay? Your, your mental box and look back in, right? Here is your author life. This is your author brand. Step outside of the box and now look in because now you can see the things that you've done, the things that you've accomplished, uh, the help that you've had along the way to get to where you are. Just even writing that book, getting it published, and all the, the pieces of the puzzle that helped you get to that point. The editors, the proofreaders, the formatters, the cover designers, the you know, all, all the people that have helped you and the people who have helped you market your book, your friends, your family, uh, the people maybe you've hired, your 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 virtual assistants, <laughs> your your whoever it is. This gives you an opportunity to step outside of your box and look back in and be really grateful for everything that has uh, uh, taken you to this point that you are right now as an author. So take a moment and step outside of your box and just look back in and, and, and feel the gratitude, feel it because that's a really great thing. And, 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 you know, another thing is just thanking the people that have helped you along the way. All right. Even going back and saying, Hey, you know, I, I really appreciated your support because that means the world to them. And it's a way for you just to kind of give back, give back some thanks and appreciation. Okay. Um, to really tap into being grateful, 
here's a, a technique that, that I do, and I wanted to share it with you. And that is create a set of affirmations. Affirmations are really great. Affirmations are positive fuel that you want to fuel that subconscious, okay? And uh, the way you would do that is get a journal, okay? A physical journal, not just something, you know, that you type in your computer. Get something that you can actually write down and write out because that ingrains the affirmations uh, more so into your subconscious. So, uh, like, let's see here. I got, uh, like here, this is a... Uh, uh, a journal that uh, I use to uh, fill in gratitude, okay? Uh, and what you should do when you uh, get up in the morning, the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is come up with at least three things that you're grateful for, okay? And put it in present tense. I am so happy and grateful that. I am so happy and grateful for, right? I am, I have, I love. Put it in present tense and write it out. Now, remember, it doesn't matter how big or small the thing is that you're grateful for. Just write it down. And if you have more than three, just keep writing, okay? I am so happy and grateful that my book is published. I am so happy and grateful that Robert's teaching me uh, and taking me through his audiobook coaching program. That's a good one. <laughs> Write that down. Um, you know, I am so happy and grateful uh, that the sun is out today. I am so happy and grateful for my wife, my husband, my significant other. I am so happy and grateful there's food and refrigerator. I am so happy and grateful there is uh, gas in my car. I'm so happy and grateful I have a car. I'm so happy and grateful I can, I, I can uh, sit down and write my next book. I am so uh, grateful that uh, I'm able to narrate my own audiobook. There's a lot of things that you can write down. And again, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. You know, if it's something huge, awesome. If it's something small, that's fine. But just write it down and then read it. Read it again. And remember that as you keep reading, reciting these affirmations that you write, you know, first thing in the morning, jot them down and then focus on it until you feel it. We're going down the intangibles road. We want you to feel the gratitude. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to feel it. So you need to take it to that level. That's the next level. Say it. I'm so happy and grateful that I published my nonfiction book. Great. Now say it until you feel it. I am so happy and grateful that I published my nonfiction book. Yes, feel the excitement, feel the joy, the accomplishment, everything that comes through as an emotion, you want to tap into that. That's how you want to start your day. And that's how you start your day with positivity. But the key is to write it down. Okay, that's why you have a gratitude journal. You have something to write it down. And physically writing it again ingrains that feeling of gratitude more so into your subconscious than if you just typed it into a computer, all right? So have that journal next to your bed. And when you get up in the morning, you know, take a nice deep breath and just think about it. Even, you know, and I, you know, I don't think there's some days where, man, I am just not feeling it today. <laughs> this is just, oh, I don't want to even get up, get out of bed this morning. But you know what? Get through it. Maybe it's a little bit uncomfortable, but get through it and do your gratitudes. Write down your affirmations. Write down things that you are grateful for because that will really, really help start your day off on a positive note. And that's what you really want to do, especially as an author, right? Maybe you, you feel the pressure of having to, you know, uh, write the next chapter of your book and, you, and you've been stuck, you know, and we get that writer's block happens all the time. And I get it as a musician, you know, I've, I've written uh, music for film and TV and my, do my own thing. And, and sometimes you just hit that block, right? It happens. Or even when you're recording your audiobook, sometimes you're just not feeling it. You can't get into your zone. This is where you take a moment to step back, take a breath, Get yourself regrounded and uh, write some affirmations and write down things that you are grateful for. 
I'm so happy and grateful that I get the opportunity to record my own audiobook and say it until you feel it. Man, that feels so great. I get to narrate my own audiobook. I get to tell my story. No one can tell my story the way I can. It's my written word. It's my voice. It's my style. It's my pacing. It's my authenticity. It's, it's me being conversational and sharing this uh, great nonfiction book that I've written. Now I'm bringing it to life. When you tap into that feeling, then you're going to do a great audiobook narration. Okay. So again, no matter how big or small that thing that you're grateful for is, write it down and do at least three. All right. Three things and then read them over until you feel it. Okay. I'm so happy and grateful or I am. You're always putting this in a present tense. I have, right? This is all things that you want to put in present tense. It's very important. Okay. That's how you start your day. So get a journal. Okay. And write it down. All right. It's a great technique. Uh, I, I use it uh, all the time uh, just to get myself grounded and focused. Um, you know, there are some people who feel that uh, doing exercises like this uh, are a waste of time. And I disagree with them because, again, especially when it comes to narrating your own audiobook, if you are not in the right frame of mind, you're not going to do a, a great narration. You're just not. If you're not in your zone, if you're not grounded, if you have not tapped in to your purpose, if you have not tapped into your core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place, if you're not tapped into that, that's not going to come through in your audiobook narration. And that's why I really stress in my audiobook coaching program about the intangibles, about tapping into the emotion and the feeling and bringing that forward, because that makes all the difference in the world when it comes to narrating your own audiobook. You could have a mediocre audiobook that sounds boring and reedy, or you can have a fan frickin tastic audiobook that is just so compelling and engaging that, that your listener is on the edge of their seat listening to this awesome story that you're telling, and they can't wait to hear the next chapter and then the next one and then the next one. That's where you want to be. And when you tap into this gratitude and you tap into the feeling, it'll come through. It'll absolutely come through. All right, this is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane, your host uh, with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, you can check out my website at robertlanecoaching.com, which talks about my audiobook coaching program. Uh, we are streaming live, by the way, on the Bold Brave TV network. I do appreciate you hanging out. Uh, in this next segment, because we're going to take a quick break, uh, I want to talk about the brags, right? We talked about the grats. Now let's talk about the brags. And there are some tools that you can utilize uh, about brags. And I'll give you those details when we come back. So don't go away. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality? But it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating. Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like... I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. 
Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. All right, welcome back to the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Thank you for joining. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. And our topic today is grats and brags are better than bacon. Are they? Well, we just talked about gratitude and how important gratitude is, especially as an author, and especially if you're narrating your own audio book, as you should, right? Uh, Make that a rule. I say, Every nonfiction author who has a published book needs to narrate their own audiobook because no one can narrate that book like that author can, period. You can have a great narrator, you know, the best in the world, and they will sound great. However, it's still their interpretation, okay? And again, never cut corners. Never cut corners, all right? Then, which means don't fall into the, oh, let me get a virtual narrator or, you know, uh, you know go the AI route because you're, you're doing your, your author brand, your business, a huge disservice. And it's a big mistake, okay? Big mistake because AI cannot replicate you. That's what makes you, you. Why do you think people buy your book? Because they, they see you and your personality is in your written word. That's why they love your book right? That's why they buy your book. Now they want to hear you as the author tell your story. What a great thing. No one can do it as as well as you can. And you really can. So don't think you can't because you can. All right. Now, grats and brags are better than bacon. Hmm. That's still up for debate. Uh, do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. Um, okay. Grats and brags. Brags, as in bragging rights. It's funny, you know, when I say grats and brags are better than bacon, I think of brats, like bratwurst. <laughs> anyway, gr- uh, grats and brags, bragging rights, or uh, better yet, I'd rather say things to be proud of. Not really, you're not bragging about it. It's just things that you're proud of, right? Gratitude and things that you are proud of, things that you appreciate uh, about yourself and the accomplishments that you have uh, achieved for that day. So again, grabbing that, that uh, gratitude journal, you can split it in half. Half of it's grats and the other half, half is brags, right? It's a bragging journal. And the way that works is this, right? So you have at the beginning of the day, you're doing your gratitudes, you get up in the morning, you grab your journal and you're writing down at least three things that you're grateful for, no matter how big or small, okay? Now, at the end of the day, you're going to grab your journal and you can again have the same journal or you can have a separate one if you want and that's your uh, uh brag journal you got your grats journal you got your brags journal and you're going to write down at the end of the day before you go to sleep you're going to think about what you've accomplished for that day again it doesn't matter how big or how small it is whatever accomplishments that you've uh, achieved think about it and just write down again putting it in uh, present tense, you know, and just say, I am so proud. I am proud or I am so proud that I uh, wrote a chapter, wrote my next chapter. I am so proud that I did not forget to take the trash out this morning and my wife didn't yell at me. (laughs) Hey, hey, you know what? That can be something that you're really proud of. Um, Whatever it is, no matter how big or how small it is, Right? I'm so proud of the fact that I recorded my opening credits. And that's all I did was just opening credits. But you know what? I'm proud of that because I've started recording my audiobook. And that was the first thing I did was do my opening credits. And you know what? That felt great. That felt great because I did it. I am so proud that I did it. Write down these things that you are proud of. Those are your brags. Those are your bragging rights. Okay. And that's, what's really important. And again, I talk about getting in touch with how it feels. It's one thing to write it, but it's another thing to read it and say it until you feel it, feel the pride, feel the joy and the contentment and, and the accomplishment of doing something 
Again, no matter how big or small it is, right? It doesn't matter. It's still something for you to be proud of because you want to end the day with, again, positivity. Just like when you start the day, when you whip out the, the uh, gratitude book, right? The Gratz journal. There you go. Three things. I'm At least three things I'm, I'm really grateful for. And then you wrap up your day by looking back and saying, you know what? I did this and I did this and I did this and I am proud of it. I am proud I did this. I am proud I did that. And you write it out. Okay. And you say it until you feel it. Then you're in the right frame of mind of, of uh, you're going to sleep better right? because <laughs> you're ending your day on positivity. It's a beautiful thing. It's a really, really great thing. So again, no matter how big or small, no matter how uh, accomplished you think you uh, feel, you know, again, we do what we all have bad days and we have off days. And maybe writing something like, I am proud that I made it through this tough day. You made it through the day. As something as simple as that can mean the world, okay? And it's something that you should be proud of. We all have up and ups and downs, right? That is life. That is life, the, the, the flowing river of life. And when there are obstacles, we always figure out a way to, like as the stream flows, to work ourselves around any obstacles that may come about during our life, right? As an author, writer's block is an obstacle, but we figure it out. Or maybe, uh, you know, we're, we're making a lot of mistakes when we're uh, doing our audiobook narration. You know, you're working on this chapter and you keep messing up and it's getting really frustrating. Well, that's an obstacle, but you figure it out. What I tell my clients when uh, they, you know, hit a roadblock like that, they're not in their zone and they're making mistakes is just, you know what? Step back, right? Step away. Just step away from it. Get refocused, get regrounded. I have a couple of uh, uh, mindset exercises in the uh, audiobook coaching program that I teach that, that helps uh, uh, the authors get regrounded and refocused and to you know, again, get into the right frame of mind. Because again, you have to be in the right frame of mind before you hit that record button. And you need to be consistent because consistency is very important. You want to be uh, the same uh, amount of energy and the same amount of purpose that you put into your audiobook from opening credits to closing credits. You want that same energy of consistency. You know, and of course, there's the practicality of it. You want your same audio levels and all that stuff too. But uh, the intangibles are what makes a mediocre audiobook into a, a great audiobook. And that emotion that you bring forth is really, really important. And that is something that you should 100% be proud of. Because as you go along recording uh, your audiobook, for example, um, it gets easier, it gets better. It, it, it's, it's fun. It's exciting. Like those feelings and emotions come up. And then your personality. I'm working on a book right now. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's actually a really, really cool story uh, by this author. His name is Paul Shatskin. Uh, it's called The Boy Who Invented Television. It's about uh, uh, this guy. His name is Philo Farnsworth, who was the guy who really invented television back in the 20s, 1920s. Uh, and it's a fascinating story, but I love listening to Paul's narration as I work on his audiobook. And I'm excited every chapter. I'm like, I'm looking forward to working on the next chapter because his delivery is great because he's putting in his unique personality as kind of a, a funny, um, dry sense of humor, but it comes through and it makes listening to the audiobook so enjoyable. And that's what you do when you narrate your audiobook is that you're putting your unique stamp on it, your unique style. And that's what makes it so great. And that's what makes it so unique. And that's preserving your author brand because people are reading your book because of the way you express yourself. And they're going to listen to your audiobook because of the way you express yourself. That's what makes you so unique. And your voice is in your written word and you're just bringing it to life for people to actually here. So something definitely to be proud of. All right. So again, write down three things at the end of the day of things that you're proud of, just like you did for your gratitude. Now, when you get a journal, okay, 
when you get yourself a journal, pick a color that you like. It could be it could be anything. It doesn't have to be you know a, a moleskin journal or something fancy. It can be a notebook. It can be a three ring binder. It could you know again be uh, it can be a moleskin journal. It can be anything that you really like, right? Is it, is it in the color that you like? Take this journal, maybe cut out some pictures and paste it on it or, you know, color on it or do something with it to make it yours. Because when you look at this journal, because you're going to have this next to your bed, right? You're going to do your grats in the morning and your brags in the evening. When you look at that journal, the feeling that it should uh, make you feel is inspiring right when you look at that journal it's like i feel really inspired because i know that in that journal are a bunch of things that i'm that i'm grateful for and that makes me feel good and it makes me feel positive and in that journal are a bunch of things that i'm so proud of and that'll make me feel good and make me feel positive and that is how you want to start your day with positivity you want to end your day with positivity no matter what happens like i say you know we have our ups and downs we're flowing down that river of life and there are going to be obstacles but we work our way around them. we figure out a way of working around them so if you have writer's block you'll work your way through it all right if you are having again like i say uh having a bad uh, audio recording day you'll work through it it'll be okay you know that it is going to be okay. So that's why grats and brags are so important, all right? And as much as I hate to admit it, grats and brags are better than bacon, all right? They just are, they just are. Because being positive and being grateful and being proud of your accomplishments is really great, you know? It's a great feeling. Yes, I love bacon, I do. <laughs> Chocolate covered bacon, you bet. Me and Homer, absolutely. Homer Simpson, we're eating our bacon. Um, but you know what? The gratitude and the the pride of, of accomplishment are really important because I know how important that is to move forward as an audiobook coach and producer to help other authors. And for you as a nonfiction author, it's so great and inspiring and that positivity helps you move forward as an author maybe you're going to work on your next book definitely turn your book into an audiobook absolutely uh we're going to take one more break and when we come back i will tell you more about the your book your voice audiobook coaching program as well and then i want to share uh one more thing that's in my book by the way uh it's uh what i'm talking about today is in my book called lights action you uh the second chapter is called Grats and brags are better than bacon. I do talk about uh, what I've shared with you today on, on the podcast. Uh, but I want to you know, talk to you about a quote that's in the book. And then I want to tell you a little bit more about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program when we come back. All right. You are listening to the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, we are streaming live on the Bull Brave TV network. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to uh, give you a quick summary. I want to share that quote with you. And then, of course, tell you more about the uh, audiobook coaching program. Don't go away. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? 
Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to easysense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's easysense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. And welcome back to the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. And uh, today's topic, of course, is Gratz and Braggs are better than bacon. As hard as it is to admit, uh, it is. It really is. Being grateful as an author, appreciating the talent and the artistry that, you, again, you are an artist, that you can write a book and publish a great nonfiction book. Definitely be grateful for that, that talent, that gift. And being proud, right? Grats and brags. Brags are, are things that you're proud of. Bragging rights, being proud of your accomplishments. And that's what we talked about. And that's why that is uh, better than bacon, as much as I love bacon, and I do. But being grateful and being proud of who I am and what I do, like you as an author, who you are and what you do, is more important. It really is because you want to ingrain that positivity into your subconscious because it helps build confidence as an author. It builds your confidence as an author brand and definitely ups the game when it comes to narrating your audio book. Now, I did want to share something that uh, is in uh, my book, Lights Action. You, by the way, you can pick this up on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. It's on the AAA. Uh, so grab yourself a copy. All right, but uh, there is a quote that I use that opens up uh, the chapter that uh, I've taken, the material I've talked about today, which again, the, uh, the chapter is called Grats and Brags Are Better Than Bacon. And the quote that opens the chapter is from the movie What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And this is when uh, Bonnie Grape says to Gilbert, uh, says this quote, she says, uh, here we go. She says, you're my knight in shimmering armor. You're my knight in shimmering armor. And of course, Gilbert says, um, he corrects her. and He says, no, no, it's shining. You're my knight in shining armor. But his mom says, no, shimmering. You shimmer and you glow. And it's such a meaningful quote. It is such a meaningful scene in that movie because that is uh, Bonnie Grape, Gilbert Grape's mother, really expressing how much gratitude and appreciation she has for everything that he has done for that family and everything that he has done for her and how proud she is of everything that Gilbert Grape has done for that family. Grats and brags, right? Gratitude and being proud. That's what you need to do as an author is tap into your gratitude, being grateful for the talent that you have, for the gift that you have, and being proud of your accomplishments and of your achievements. And know that if you want to narrate your own audiobook, which as a nonfiction author, you absolutely need to, and you're looking to do that, do it. Because you will be incredibly grateful once that book is in audiobook form in your own voice. And I'll tell you, you should 100% be proud of that accomplishment. I'm so proud of every author that's gone through my audiobook coaching program. I'm so proud of them because they sound so great. I listen to this stuff all the time, you know, that's what I do. That's, as a coach and producer, that's what I do. But every time I am sucked into their story. Why? Because it, it's, it's not just because they went through my program. It's because they, as an author, did such a great job expressing themselves as a narrator, telling their story, that it, I'm compelled and engaged into what they have to say. And I hear this stuff all the time. So you have the ability to narrate your own audiobook. 
Now, uh, just a quick uh, bird's eye overview of what the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook program, uh, coaching program is all about. Uh, basically, in, th in three basic segments. The first is setup and preparation. When you enroll into the program, I send you the professional equipment that you need to set up your own recording space, right? You don't have to go to a studio. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars to rent a studio, hire an audio engineer, et cetera, et cetera. I send you the equipment you need. It's yours to keep forever, okay? You don't have to send it back to me. That's part of the program. And I teach you and give you step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up your own recording space, all right? Part two is how to do a great audiobook narration, how to be compelling, how to be engaging, how to bring out your authenticity, how to be your unique self, how to bring that voice that you have put in your written word and bringing it into life, bringing it into your audible world so the world can hear you tell your story, right? I give you all the tools and techniques, both the practical, right? Mic placement, body posture, hydration, et cetera, et cetera, as well as the intangibles. What are the emotions, the feeling, talk, tapping into the core reason of why you wrote your book? What is your purpose? Why do you need to tell your story? Who are you telling your story to? There's all these uh, facets that make a great audiobook narration, and I teach you how to do that. Final part of it is that once you're done recording your audiobook, you're sending all your audio files to me. And again, because of my experience in the uh, entertainment world and business as being an audio editor as well, 20 plus years of doing that, I'm your editor. And I edit your audiobook. I make sure it sounds great, it's clean, and it meets the exact specifications for publication into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. And I will also upload all your audio files for publication into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books for you, so you don't even have to worry about that. And by the end of the six-week program, your book is uploaded for publication. Six weeks, not six months or six years, six weeks, okay? If you want more information about it, just go to robertlanecoaching.com. Um, action takers are success makers, right? I'm gonna use that phrase again, because all you need to do is just schedule a call with me. There's links, uh, buttons, you know, to press to go to my calendar directly, and you will talk with me I want to talk with you about your book and give you uh, more details about the program and get you enrolled. It's that simple. Go to robertlanecoaching.com. All right. And of course, as we wrap things up, as always, when you're out and about in the world, smile at a stranger, say hello to them, give them a compliment because that small gesture can make the world a difference in somebody's day. Cause maybe they're having a really, really bad day and you smile and say hello to them, man, that could be such a great thing. And that's being a good human. So again, grats and brags. Be grateful. Be proud of your work as an author. If you're a nonfiction author, you have to narrate your own audiobook. And that's where I can help you out as an audiobook coach and producer. Again, go to robertlanecoaching.com uh, and uh, you'll have all the information about what I do as an audiobook coach and producer and my program called Your Book, Your Voice. All right, we'll be talking to you next week, of course, here. Uh, we're here every Thursday, 8 p.m. on the East Coast, 5 p.m. Pacific time for the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We're streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. We'll be talking to you next week. Take care, my friends. This has been Your Book, Your Voice with host Robert A. Lane. Tune in each week for another powerful and informative episode of Your Book, Your Voice. Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network.